Hi everybody, it's Amanda again. Um, with the coronavirus and not everybody having a chance to go to their hairdressers, um, I know we're all feeling a little frumpy and in the dumps about our hair. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some tips and tricks for you for cutting your bangs. Um, how to deal with those split ends um, before we get to go to the hairdresser and even how to color your own hair. Okay, so tip number one is the best way to get rid of split ends is to have a haircut, obviously, because if you don't get rid of the split ends, the, the split end is just going to keep creeping up your hair and you're going to have a lot more to cut off than you would if you just keep getting little trims here and there. Um, but obviously we can't go to the salon right now to get our hair done. So to help with that, I would suggest, um, number one, staying away from the blow dryer as much as possible, letting your hair air dry, um, using a, some sort of a, a cream on your hair or a, a heat protectant on it will also help the split ends. Um, try not ripping your hair when you brush it. Start from the ends first, do it gently and work your way up. Also, um, when you're in the shower, after you shampoo, um, put conditioner on your ends and leave it there for a few minutes um, just to keep your hair nice and healthy. Um, like I said, the best way to take care of those is to have someone like me cut it, but if you can't get to a hairstylist in the next few months, what are you gonna do, right? Or put it up in a messy bun <laughs> or pin it back. So um, with hair color, what I would say is if you absolutely have to cover your roots because you don't like the gray showing through, um, always start at your roots. Always, always, always. Do the best you can to put it, to section off your hair down the middle, all the way down here, section it off, and then section it off at the crown down to your ear, okay? And then use little clips to clip each section. And then do it section by section. Try your best not to get to your ends because if you do, you're going to damage your ends a lot. So start at your roots, do a section down here, take a little, little sections, like a quarter inch, do section, Do another section and keep going down. Do the same way on this side, same way down here. Leave it on for the recommended amount of time and only pull it through your ends the last 10, 15 minutes. So this is for going darker. For going lighter, I recommend you do the opposite, okay? If you're going lighter with your color, which I really don't recommend that you do, but if you absolutely have to and you're using a box color, I would not use bleach. Please do not use bleach on your hair. You're going to ruin it. Um, so what I would do is start from about right here, about like an inch to two inches away from your scalp, because that's going to process really fast because of the heat of your head. So you process it or you, I'm sorry, you apply it about an inch to two inches away from your scalp to about an inch to two inches away from your ends to start out with, okay? And section it off just the way we had talked about earlier. And then the last, you know, as long as that's processing okay, the last, you know, 15 minutes, go ahead and then do your roots and then pull it through your ends. The ends are the last because those are gonna, those are the most damaged and those are gonna process like that. Okay, if you have any questions, just email me or message me, I mean, or 
um, ask me down below and I'll try to and see you back. Um, as far as cutting your own bangs, this is a question that is always on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. You see people talking about cutting their own bangs because they're right in front of our face. They hang right there. I mean, who doesn't want to cut their own bangs? <laughs> and you sure don't want to see me every couple weeks when they're hanging right there. So what I would do is you pull up your hair like this. And if you already have bangs, they should automatically fall down. I don't have bangs, so they're not going to fall down. Um, except for these little baby hairs that are falling down. Section it off as much as you want to. Okay. And always, 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 always cut off less than what you think because it's harder to glue it back on than it is to just cut more off. Okay. So what you would do, pull it down here, okay, because they're going to shrink up, okay, especially if they're wet. You don't want to pull really hard. See how I'm pulling here? You don't want to pull that hard. You just kind of want to do it loosely. And to make sure that they're not like straight across, cut up into your bangs, okay? Cut up into them like this okay actually I kind of do want bangs I have been kind of him and hawing about it so maybe I'll just show you what to do here I'm gonna angle them like here okay and so what you do is you just cut up into your bangs like so they're gonna have leftovers but just kind of cut into it and that way you don't get a straight across line okay they might be a little um scared at first like they they're kind of in shock so they're not going to lay right at first so you might have to play with them a little bit um but see how these just kind of are now they're just kind of swoopy like this for me since I'm a hairstylist, I'll probably go back through and do some special stuff with them. But I'm going to do a little bit on this side as well. Just because if I wear my hair up, I want some hair to kind of fall. So that's just that little piece right there. See how it's not too much. It's just enough. You want it shorter obviously you can go shorter but always 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 go longer than how you want them because like i said <laughs> it's easier to cut them shorter than it is to glue it back on so uh -huh. anyway my daughter's calling me so <laughs> if you have any questions please let me know and if you like this video please give it a like and a share and I'll see you guys later. Bye.